What's going on guys? My name is Arrow and in today's video, I wanna talk about the best off meta build that you should play in the Settlers reboot. So real quick, we got an update. I'm sure many of you have already heard this, that the 3.26 timeline is gonna be pushed out to probably February. In the meantime, we got an event starting on November 7th at four o'clock Eastern time, that's my time. And it is going to be a full restart of the Settlers League with one twist. The Lantern of Aramor is returning and there's going to be bonus loot on every single zone. So much like Necropolis League, we will have the Lantern that will allow us to get bonus loot, bonus pack size, things like that, but there will be no downsides. This is purely a loot buff and it's going to result in a lot of loot being in the economy, especially if things like Divines can show up on this Lantern because these zones will be decided what loot they're going to provide for an hour at a time. So it says here, monsters in every area are affected by a pool of mods, which you will be able to manipulate upon entering that area. Now this is going to result in mapping being the focus. Obviously there's always gonna be boss killers, but if you wanna make a ton of currency really quick, the best way to do it is going to be to play a mapper. Enter Ice Shot of Penetration. I have a full guide for Ice Shot of Penetration linked in the description. And this is a max roll guide, which means you are going to get a ton of information, everything you could possibly need. The build info tab explains all of your scaling, how things work. And there's a leveling tab, which as you level, you can very easily see what you need to spec and unspec. The progression tab is gonna show you every single gear piece that you need to upgrade in the order in which you should upgrade it. This guide is awesome, but that's not the reason that you should play Ice Shot of Penetration. Ice Shot of Pen is a build that I've played a number of times now. I think it is severely underrated, and I think it's because it's mostly misunderstood. I have a feeling that Ice Shot is going to have a sort of power siphon effect. I played Power Siphon of Locust Mines a while ago, and it didn't catch on for a while afterwards. I think when more big creators get their hands on this skill, they're really going to enjoy how it plays. Basically, the way it works is you throw a mine on the ground, Ice Shot of Penetration targets an enemy, it splits with Sniper's Mark and Fury Valve, those projectiles go out, hit a ton of enemies, create AoE cones that also hit enemies and overlap, and then they all return, and they can hit the tornadoes that you're creating on the enemy on return. This build has great single target and even better clear. The more monsters, the better, and is truly a joy to play. This may be my new favorite build of all time since Hydrosphere was killed, and I highly recommend it. I'm not gonna go through all of the things that make this build tick here because of the Maxwell Guide and all of the videos that I have on it already, but I will talk about a few things. What does this build thrive at? Expedition is phenomenal. There's so many monsters that are packed really close together. And because the build is tri-elemental, if you can't do, say, cold damage to enemies in an expedition due to taking one of the runic suffixes, you still have fire and lightning. It's phenomenal at Legion. This is maybe the best Legion farmer I've ever played once you get a headhunter. I've done repeat Legions with that Scarab a number of times, and it is truly remarkable how strong this is. This is also the best Blight farmer in the game. If you are not looking to do an AFK farmer, it is trivially able to take down just about any monster in the game once you get the glacial cage towers up because of all the overlaps of your arrows. It's also great at things like Breach. Anything with a ton of monsters, it's going to thrive at. Also, anything with tight corridors, something like toxic sewer maps, tier 17s, where there's a lot of walls nearby, you're gonna get even more overlaps. Your arrows hit the wall, create cones, and hit enemies multiple times. So let's quickly talk about the gem, about how it works. Ice Shot of Penetration is an arrow, a single arrow. It cannot have additional arrows added to it, which is why we use a mine. It fires that single arrow at an enemy. When it strikes that enemy, it will create two perpendicular cones, meaning coming out the sides, that can damage enemies around it. With a little bit of investment in your quality, like 23 quality for me seems to be enough, those cones get big enough where it almost creates a perfect circle around the enemy and is like an ice nova type of circle damage around the enemy that you've hit. When that enemy is struck between Sniper's Mark and Fury Valve, all of your extra arrows will then be fired out and then return with return projectiles. On the return, an infinite number of cones can overlap on a single target. If you have a boss up against a wall, every single arrow that comes back will hit that wall and the cones will hit the boss. This is where Tornado comes in. Using Rain of Arrows or Rain of Arrows of Saturation, once you get it, you will be constantly procking new Tornadoes with Cast on Crit. This Rain of Arrows setup is in a Mana Forge setup, which procs every time you throw a mine. So every time you throw a mine, you have an opportunity for one of those crits from Rain of Arrows to create a new Tornado. Every time a Tornado is created, projectiles that are still out and returning have a chance to hit that target again. 
the faster you create tornadoes, the more shotgunning you can do. If you want more information on this, I will link a video in the description that includes some graphs and charts and more explanations. This is a mine build, but it feels like a bow build. You have leech from a mana forge setup, including mana leech and instant leech. You have automation, which makes your mines detonate instantly and then auto target enemies. And I would actually argue that it feels snappier to play than a regular bow build. You never have to move your mouse. You throw your mine out in front of you. It targets an enemy and clears the entire screen. There are effectively no buttons to press outside of your mine, which makes this a true one button build with no aiming. And for me, it doesn't get much better than that. Now, why do I think you need to play this build right now? This is going to be a mapping focused league. Ice Shot of Penetration is a phenomenal mapper. It's capable of taking down just about all the end game bosses and can pretty quickly scale into tier 17 content. I have played this build a number of times and I'm considering playing it again for this launch. If you want to see what I'm going to play, make sure you stop by my stream, twitch.tv slash AER0 underscore underscore. I'm live just about every single day, and I will be live on the launch of the new Settlers League. If you like this content, make sure that you like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you over on the stream. And as always, take care.